can paint protection film be removed? And if so, how do you do it? What's the condition of the paint underneath? All of those questions we're gonna answer for you right now. So behind me is a Mercedes-Benz E63. Super awesome car. We did this installation originally a few years ago. Uh, the customer decided to go with a partial installation only. So what that means is a partial hood and partial fenders. You can see the line because the car is dirty. We left it dirty for you on purpose to show you some things then we're gonna clean it up. So that's a question people ask a lot. What happens with the partial? Can you see the line? The answer is if the car is dirty, you definitely can. If it's cleaned up, it's a lot, lot more invisible. So this car has 40,000 miles, almost 41,000. And what you'll notice on the front end is there are no major rock chips. And when the car's clean, we'll show you that. But what this customer wants to do is remove this partial front end and install a full, at least on the hood, not the fenders. So you can see we're wrapped around. So if you've got a car at home, maybe you bought it off a lot used and it has paint protection film and you don't like it anymore, or it's just time to replace it. We like to do this out in the sun or we use a steamer. But if we don't have to bust out the steamer and the sun is our friend, we just do it outside. So the edge is the hardest part if it's wrapped. And there's a trick to getting this off, believe it or not. So most people are familiar with 3M command strips. And that's how we're going to pull PPF, try to limit the amount of adhesive that it leaves behind. Of course, this film is a little bit older, so it's going to leave some adhesive. And this is the original Expel Ultimate. This is before Ultimate Plus came out. Ultimate Plus has a little bit better clean removability, but this is still going pretty well. Now one thing you can see here, look at all the damage that the film took. It's dirty of course, but those, those are significant enough, those would have put a mark in the paint for sure. Another thing that comes up a lot is yellowing. So years ago the film used to turn yellow uh, pretty quickly. And that wasn't an expel problem, that was an industry problem, just the nature of the beast. And now as, as it's evolved, uh, the films are warranted against that. And you can see, like I said, this is a couple of years old, it is dirty, a lot of miles on it, and it really is not changing colors. So on a white car, um, if it changes at all, you'll notice it right away. On a black car, you won't. But when you pull the film off, you definitely would see it. This is look yellow. So one other thing I want to show you guys is an area where there is no film. So had this customer decided to go with a full fender with wrapped edges like we normally do, this could have been avoided. Now, I won't say completely you're two inches away from the tire if this thing's going 150 miles per hour and kicks up a rock right here. It might destroy the film. But it's not going to have this sandblasted look. And you can see it the whole way across here. All of this is damaged. This is not dirt. This is like a road rash, we call it. Um, Road rash is completely avoided with paint protection film. And in the event that the film does get like that, it could be removed and replaced like you just saw. So another piece on this car that needs replaced is this inside trim piece. It's painted. You can see there's a lot of bubbles here. Uh, these definitely would not have left the shop like that. So if I had to guess, uh, it looks to me like the car's probably been through some car washes. That's part of the reason it's here. We're gonna be polishing the entire car. I think some pressure washer, hit that directly whether it was by hand or in a car wash so no big deal we're just going to pull that piece off put a new piece on for him and there's another piece on the mirror that's similar to that lots of little damage on this and absolutely nothing on the trim piece that's just some adhesive so we're going to get it inside get it cleaned up get this adhesive off put some new film on it and show you what it looks like so now that we've removed the old film, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the full hood. This time you're not going to see that line that the partial hood had. Uh, it's interesting that you can see where some rock chips happened above the film, but where the film was, there was absolutely nothing. So the film does its job.
All right guys, it's the next day. We've got the new film installed on the hood. Hopefully we have successfully answered the question of can I remove paint protection film? How hard is it to remove paint protection film? And what does it look like once it's removed? You can see there are no rock chips where the film was on this Mercedes. And now we've got a fresh install and it looks like brand new. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoy seeing our content. See you next time.